Good morning, everyone from lovely Hangzhou. I'm here on the banks of the Tiantang River, about to embark on the longest bike tour I have ever been on. This 2,000 plus kilometer tour is going to take me all the way around Zhejiang province, and I'm gonna bring you guys with me every step of the way, or every pedal of the way, whatever, you get it. And you might be wondering who is gonna be joining me on this epic journey. Aside from the occasional photographer or special guest that I'll meet at certain points, I'm doing this completely alone. Just me and my trusty red stallion. This isn't just your average bike tour though. This is actually a repeat of the bike tour that my boss did over 20 years ago on a tandem bicycle through the entirety of Zhejiang looking for environmental issues. And it was that bike tour that inspired him to establish our organization, Green Zhejiang. So now over 20 years later, I am following in his footsteps doing the same route again and we're just gonna see how much change has taken place in these 20 years. So now that we've got the introductory details out of the way, let's get on the road. Today, I'm biking from Hangzhou's mother river, the Tiantang, all the way to the neighboring city of Shaoxing. It was an 80 kilometer journey through one of Zhejiang's most developed regions and for the most part it felt like a ride from one suburb of Hangzhou to a further away suburb of Hangzhou. I encountered some interesting little nuggets along the way such as this magnificent local architecture. That wins the prize for the most dramatic entrance to a karaoke place that I've ever seen. These shiny spinny things for sale on the side of the road. This super cute lake park and this slightly less cute but still good vibes lake park and a guy herding goats from a truck now i've seen it all herding goats from a truck so you don't have to get out and walk with them mankind at our best good for you truck goat guy now you could get your daily exercise on a treadmill in an air-conditioned gym instead of being seen out in public with a bunch of goats oh just kidding i would give anything to be able to walk with those goats maybe someday i can have my own goats for now, I can just stand on the side of the road like a weirdo, filming other people's goats. One of the biggest changes that I've personally noticed, just from looking at Hao's photos and hearing him talk about what his trip was like 20 years ago, is that rivers are no longer treated as a gutter or a sewer. They're a pleasant place to be. Look at this beautiful path they've got going along here. So many rivers have these nice little trails with flowers and trees and benches, and it's just such a pleasant place to be. But along this river 20 years ago, you'd see like sewage outfalls and you'd see all this trash and you wouldn't want to come here. It'd be a place you want to stay away from. And now it's the complete opposite. After a nutritious dinner of crazy balls, I watched the chicken roller coaster make a few rounds, enjoyed a performance, and appreciated some local art. A productive day has come to an end. 80 kilometers down today. It has been a successful first day of the bike tour, and I will see you in the morning. Good morning, everyone. From Shaoxing, I would go out on the balcony and show you all this lovely view, but what is up with this? Get this out of here. Help you enjoy the scenery through this dirty window. So let's go downstairs and see what's out there. Traffic, that's what's out there. Surprise. It is a weekday after all. Mixing into the Monday morning commute. Long distance bike tour problems. From the moment I started today, my butt already hurts. So that sucks, but just gotta forge on. Got an exciting route coming up today. But before that, we're going on a tiny little detour. <laughs> Heading towards a very familiar screechy sound. Essential ingredient to the Chinese park vibe, these instruments.
most of Shaoxing is already cityified, but there are some little canals like this scattered throughout the place. Sometimes I can't tell what is a public walkway and what is somebody's like backyard. I mean, there's a bunch of potted plants here, so it feels like it's somebody's yard, but there's no door. Is this just like the communal garden or something? People just put plants here for kicks? I don't know. I don't know. If you're wondering what these cute houses look like on the inside, you're in luck because we're getting a tiny little tour. Oh. Oh, this Wow. These geese are just standing in the middle of the road like they own the place, preening themselves, looking at us plebes passing by with a glance of contempt. I have to say I definitely underestimated Shaoxing. I had this feeling like it's an extension of Hangzhou, just like a big suburb of Hangzhou. I guess just looking at the map, how the two cities almost fuse together and there's even a metro connecting them. I just felt like this was gonna be Hangzhou part two, but no, it definitely has its own unique character. And I wish I had more time here to explore these little alleyways. Now I'm on my way to meet up with Mr. Shi, a longtime member of Green Zhejiang who is a watershed health expert and an avid calligraphy artist. He made a calligraphy piece commemorating my bike tour. Ten out of ten. So cute. We also visited a local river. <笑>居民区什么东西的污染流水也好雨水也好污水也好统统都作为一个排放的河流现在是没有人敢直接的把这个污染排到这个河里去了哈排污开始全部都管死了他这个企业也好个人也好他不可能把几十吨的污水他背